Hi everyone. So today we are going to see how to connect ESP8266 Wi-Fi controller to a PC. So this is a Wi-Fi controller which you can connect to any antenna or IoT devices. It has an integrated TCP IP protocol built in and it acts as a Wi-Fi adapter or as a Wi-Fi server. So you can build your uh, web server using this small chip. It is very reliable and it is very cheap. I got it for 300 rupees from Amazon. I'm providing the links below the, uh, in the description. So, in order to connect uh, this chip to the PC, we need some extra interfaces. So, I'm using FT232 USB to 3TL adapter for Arduino. Uh, it, I got it for 300 rupees from Amazon. Uh, links in the description. So it has a mini USB B port where we use it to connect to the PC and uh, the pins are there for connecting it to the A266. One important point is A266 works on 3.3 watt so don't power it with a 5 watt or more than that. And our USB to digital converter it works on both 5 volt and 3 volts. You can adjust these jumpers to set it whether it needs to run 5 volt or 3 volt. But in our example, we are using 5 volt because it needs more power to run, especially for flashing. So let's move on and connect these devices. I have wired everything as per the diagram and uh, also I had attached a power module so this power module can power 3.5 as well as 5 volt there is a DC jack as well as a USB adapter is there we can power either of this and uh, you can also change this uh, uh, output voltage by setting the jumpers uh, I have added the links of the Amazon at the uh, description so I have to connect this uh, USB to this 5 volt as well as uh, this A266 to the 3 volt. So make sure that A266 is connected to the 3.3 volts otherwise you are going to burn the chip. Also one more thing to notice is you have to power these modules first and then you need to connect this to the PC. The current from the PC's USB is not sufficient for the devices to power on. So this is the USB B port. I am going to connect it to my USB to TTL device, and uh, I am going to connect the uh, DC jack to the power module. You can use any power module or any power source that you have. Not an issue. Make sure that you turn on the power first, and then you connect the USB to the PC. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Now I need to turn on my uh, power module using the push button. Yeah, now it's one and uh, A266 is turned on. You can see the red light. Also, the USB adapter is also turned on. Now I need to set up my PC to connect. Once the setup is done, I connect the USB cable to the PC, and we need to find out which COM port it is using. To check that, we need to open the device manager and from the device manager you go to the port section and you can see the ports which is getting assigned there so currently in my case it is now you open another program called ESP user program I provide the download links in the description it's very easy to use program it has inbuilt support for testing the AT commands you can also use Putty for the same function that will be discussed later in this video. So set the baud rate which is basically the speed and also the COM port. In our case it is COM5. Once everything is set you click on the connect and all the buttons will be enabled. That means it is connected. Now click the AT button. You can see a response from the Wi-Fi adapter saying that it's ok. So that means the connection is successful. Now click on the AT plus GMR, you will get the version information for these details. You can play with other commands available. Now in order to connect to a Wi-Fi terminal, you need to first set a mode to both. So set, you can click it on the button and it is set, you can see the response is ok. And now click on the AT CW LAP, then the module will list access, available access points. 
key in the access point name and as well as the password and once it is done you can click on the ATCWJAP equal to that will set connect to that particular access point once connected it will get a prompt back Wi-Fi connected and once you get the IP tell that Wi-Fi code IP so now we have connected to the Wi-Fi once the connection is established you can go to the TCP tab and uh, you can enter the website that you want to connect uh, update a payload with the HTTP payload that you want to connect HTTP you can refer wiki for a standard HTTP request so once you are ready to go you hit on HTTP connect button make sure that the ID is set to empty once the connection is established you can see the response in the window and uh, hit on HTTP send so once you hit it send you will send a, get a prompt there and uh, then click on the send button you will get a complete response of that particular http request during this time with the device you can see the, uh, the red led in the device will be clicking right. update the website to some other website and also try the same so we have successfully established a tcp ap connection with the website Now we will see how to establish a connection using Putty. So you have to input the type as a CL and give the COM port. Make sure that uh, the connection is disconnected from our user program. So once it is done, you can connect it using a Putty. So once the connection is established, you can type the command and uh, you will get a response directly in the Putty. For sending the command, use press Ctrl and press M and J. So that's it. In the next video, we will try to connect it with Adreno. Till then, goodbye.